let me put it to you like this, that the, the commissioner was, if you like, judge. The committee was jury. They both said Owen Patterson was guilty. And then, and this is how it looks to some of our listeners, Owen Patterson's pals said they disagreed. So the plan now is maybe sack the judge and just appoint a different jury. Yeah. No, well, I think that's not a good analogy because the because commissioner... Is accurate? No, because the commissioner was the judge and the jury, made a recommendation, and the Committee on Standards, uh, as they have historically always done, went along with the commissioner's recommendations uh, and without giving the member of part, the person, the individual concerned, the opportunity for appeal or to be represented in when the, the case was considered, or for his witnesses to be examined, which is what would happen in an employment tribunal. You'd think for someone who's such a great lobbyist, he'd do a better job of representing himself. He, he represented himself, um, and, and he was, you know, I can't comment on the specifics of the case, because I wasn't on the committee, and I, you know, I've read it, but uh, I, I think that's no, he, he, he did, he put his arguments forward, he believes there are errors in the Commissioner's uh, uh, report, which were not corrected. He corrected some of them, but there are further errors. Uh, you'd need to talk to him about, but, about that. But, but you keep telling me he didn't have a chance to put his case properly. This is a man who, no. in the view of the, of the committee and in the view of the commissioner, uh, used his position to benefit two companies for whom he was a paid consultant. He was a paid advocate. Maybe if his constituents were paying him an extra £9,000 a day, he'd do no. a better job speaking for himself. Well, let me put it this way, um, Eddie. He was uh, this investigation began almost two years ago. It was 17 months after it commenced before he had a meeting with the commissioner. It was all done by uh, extensive emails and, and, and you know, in writing. Uh, there was not an opportunity for him to discuss it with the commissioner until over nearly a year and a half after it had begun. That's a strange process. So it just took too long? Part of it was it took too long. Part of it was the way in which the scope of the uh, initial inquiry was expanded uh, through the course of the period. Let me put to you, if I may, a couple of texts from our listeners. James says, Eddie, if anyone gets disciplined at work or charged with misconduct at work, all we need to do is get our friends to vote as innocent and then we can carry on behaving as badly as before. This is rank corruption, pure and simple. Alison uh, Northwich says, I don't find it arcane. I find it blatantly corrupt. I, I want to put to you too, James Forsyth, political editor at The Spectator, hardly a left-wing man, I would say, and hardly a left-wing a publication. He writes tonight, there have clearly been flaws in the way the Standards Commissioner conducts her inquiries, but seeking to change the rules right now looks dreadful. The optics aren't great, but the pro process is flawed, and, and should one, you know, should an individual be sacrificed through a flawed process? I don't think so. I think the process needs to be fixed. Forgive me, in what way is he being sacrificed? Well, in the event that the process uh, finds uh, one, you know, in the event that he were to have an appeal and the appeal were to have a different finding, then he would have been sacrificed. It may not. It may well be that uh, that he's uh, sanctioned uh, at the end of this process. He's sanctioned in the way that, uh, that the commissioner has recommended. We'll have to see. Can I suggest to you finally that actually the optics are great. The optics will be uh, filling the gin and tonic glasses in Westminster tonight. His pals have got him off. I don't think that's the case. We, we, what Westminster has decided is that the process is flawed, highlighted through this case, and there will be a, an improved process coming out of this next committee, we hope. We don't know where it leaves uh, Owen Patterson.